Hello, my prayer partners. I am in my week three of my September challenge, which I will put below to tell you what that is exactly. And I am feeling great, wonderful. And I just did four miles today around the LSU Large Lake. If anybody knows about the LSU, it has two small, a small one and a big one, and one is under renovation. And I had a wonderful time. At first I was with a friend of mine, but then later on, I had to go by myself. So afterwards, I was like, I'm going up the street uh, to Trader Joe's, but currently Trader Joe's uh, is closed down due to some Hurricane Francis damage. So I ended up going to Sprouts and got my weekly grocery run. And I just wanted to share with you some of the things, exciting things that I'm eating that are helping me feel and look better than ever uh, and just feel great. Of course, I'm exercising. I'm doing four miles every day, whether bike, walk, walk and bike, as long as it's a total of four miles every day. So that's been making me feel uh, amazing. Uh, so here before you, I have some blackberries. I'm taking the sugar out of your life. Sweet things taste really sweet and really good some grapes which are also good for digestion i also have some new zealand green apples as well as some pears i have been loving yellow dragon fruit you cut it and it's white on the inside and it's so good for your digestion and really helps you to I have a smooth bowel movement, pretty much. <laughs> These are honey crisp apples. I love them. Red apples are rec recommended for a good digestion, but an apple with honey. Mm, delicious. Let's see what else I got here. Oh, don't forget about our wonderful veggies. I'm going to be making a one pan dinner, chicken dinner. And I have some yellow squash and some asparagus. And last week, I got a sweet potato and I have some long carrots in my refrigerator. I cut them up and I put some thyme and some rosemary. I had to restock my supply and some olive oil there. And I season everything very well. Put, uh, usually they use parchment paper. I'm just using aluminum foil and I wrap the chicken up so that it's nice and juicy. I was able to get a whole pack of uh, these chicken thighs um, and they were skinless, no steroids, no harm, and cage free. So I said, mm, let's try this out instead of the chicken breasts. Let's do some thighs because you're getting more bang for your buck. Those two chicken breasts last week were 15 bucks. This is a whole pack of thighs for 14 bucks. So you more chicken, less money. Okay. And of course, we're going to put some garlic on our chicken to give it that flavor. This is what I've been using. Well, Paul is still sugar. Yeah, but it's not white cane sugar. It's organic honey, and it was a pretty good price there. I have been craving some popsicles, so I was thinking I'll take my molds and I will make apple popsicles and sprinkle some lime, which is also a very good diuretic, on in there and have some apple lime popsicles. Why not? Okay. I also have been drinking this lately oh, at the sparkling water last week this is the spring water and it's just water i mean that's all it is it's just water from um, the arkansas mountains and i actually have been to hot springs arkansas and gotten this water and been to the factory it's so good just so good and it's in glass mm. makes me feel fancy I got me, they say seedless watermelon, but we all know they have to have seeds. 
So I got some watermelon, so that's going great. I have three eggs usually in the morning, so I got me some brown eggs, organic. And I'll pair that either with some sugar-free turkey bacon or some chicken sausage. So that's breakfast typically, it's just a lot of protein. And I was also able to find some Cajun sliced smoked salmon so that I could have that one day with my roasted vegetables. And of course I'm drinking water every day uh, it's either tea or water for the most part. And so I saw these and just iced tea uh, uses agave nectar for its sweetener. This is a green tea, a honey green tea. And I found this. This is a master cleanse of cayenne lemon maple syrup and water. So let's clean it out, y'all. Cleaning out that system. Yes, I am going outside. I'm getting sunshine. Yes, I am um, reducing belly fat and fat throughout the body. But I'm also uh, making sure my digestive system is cleaned out. And we're getting mucus out, toxins, the things I'm eating. And I tried this sugar. Uh, it's turmeric love, it says. It's purified water, lemon, turmeric pineapple and passion fruit paired with ginger stevia and black pepper. This almost caught me by surprise. I was like, mm -hmm, what are we doing? Okay, I see you. So it wasn't super sweet. It only has two grams of sugar, but it was like a little kick with your pineapple almost. That's what it kind of tasted like to me. So guys, I just wanted to go through that. Today I completed my goal. I have not missed one day of reading the Bible, doing gratitude. Uh, I even have videos that I need to post about me going on my solo date and my challenge. And it's really helped with my attitude. It's helped with my outlook on life. Every day God has a message for me. Every day I'm eating better. I'm putting good things in my body. I am taking better care of myself. I am definitely, I was starting to feel so stiff when I walked. And I, I felt like I was having more problems as I get older uh, with my uh, mobility. And now I feel like I'm reversing things. Like I'm going back in time, guys, and just feeling refreshed and renewed. I hope that this video will encourage someone to eat your fruits and vegetables and protein. That's it, fruits, vegetables, and protein. And I stay away from beef, guys. I stay away from pork. I stay away from seafood, um, you know, outside of tuna fish and like salmon, um, basically stay away from those things. And everybody has their own opinion and everybody has their own research, but this is where I'm at in my journey and I'm doing great, I'm doing well, I'm wearing the red, because I'm happy to be alive, I'm happy to be blessed, and I'm seeing the difference every day in things that I put on, and I'm not having to wear a girdle, or I'm not having to do filters because I'm content with the way things are shaping up, and I'm hoping that you can see more definition, and there'll be more progress, and I will continue to, you know what I'm going to say, enjoy Jesus every day.
drop dead. Turn the heels, made it to the first fall. We're gonna bounce. We've done a mile, we're gonna throw a mile out. There's too many mosquitoes out here, but we made it and it was, it was a challenge. Up and down, up and down, but we did it, yay.